Thrill Gang, we are joined by the Sultan of Star of Maxing, Lauren Schlossman, <laughs> and myself, the Madame Maestro, James Harris. Welcome to the weekly Running the Boys with today's full episode only available on Patreon.com slash Throng Fits live and direct. Before we get into <laughs> the collaboration of the year, uh, why we're talking in Mandem accents because the fucking grime Mandem were gooning up in my crib. Road man ting. And fucking up our link up with Nigo. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's get to a fit check. Uh, why don't you start us off, bro? Okay. Upstairs, I was wearing uh, Factory Team Project Oakley Chop Saw Mules, the Raspberry Beret colorway. Raspberry Beret. Go to fit print song. The kind you'd find at a secondhand store. Is nice. that your favorite print song? Um, because I think it's mine. It's my favorite Prince song about John. <laughs> what, what are the other options? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, when Doves Cry is the best karaoke song because it's very easy. Isn't like it it's really not like long. It's not that long. Oh, okay. And you got to just do like some sexy dancing when it's like the do 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 do. Uh, I was on my game blouse and shit at Jean's wedding. No, Damn. no, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it. <laughs> shit. Lusso socks, orally jeans, skim men's. Wife pleaser underneath to hide the nipples. Wait, 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 wait. Is it is it shapewear? I think it is. <laughs> I think it's slowing me down. Um, I was wait, I, can you give me just a little peek? <laughs> Yo, that is then this cotton. Yo, it's not really ribbed. It is legit like a workout tank. I almost wore it to Gian's wedding underneath my tuxedo shirt to keep the nips from nipping. Okay. Um, which I can say you can't say that, but <laughs> It's a black tank underneath a white shirt and like with like flash oh, photography, mm. you know, that would have been a really bad look. Yeah. Right? Your pants were distracting enough, though. I know they were. Um, we'll get into it. Then the Our Legacy Workshop Natura sweater with the yin yang embroidery. Um, I'm taking a cue from Lawrence, though, and raw dog in what? Well, not raw dog in the nips, no. raw dog in the pits. Okay. Oh, bad boy. <laughs> raw dog in the pits. And then on top of that, I had a Needles Barracuda mm -hmm. M. What is this? M6? It's a G9. G9. <laughs> <laughs> Jacket, though. Uh, our Legacy Workshop, Somebody's Sunnies, and a Throwing Fits Small Talk Studios cap on top, sipping on Greenpoint's Finest, and a Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi! Or no, just PepsiCo. Sponsor the fucking pod. Damn, God okay. God damn it. You really... Okay. Do you think you drink more Diet Pepsis in a week than you beat off? Hell no. <laughs> okay because <laughs> you have a dp every day no i have t uh one per pod so it's oh. usually two a week i don't drink dp like casually this is purely <laughs> utilitarian for the podcast it's function over form but you Absolutely. do love the taste i think it's better than diet coke i truly do if i okay. if i drink a diet coke right after dp or just a diet coke on its own now these days i really do not like it it's metallic it's uh tinny it kind of tastes like yeah, you're, you're sucking out of a can. Sucking on no, 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 out of a bottle too. Sucking on a mouthful of pennies. Unless Diet Coke, they want to sponsor the podcast. Then I'm all ears. What's your goat? My what? Your goat soda. Not a big. Maybe just like I mean, when I was a kid, it was cream cream soda. Oh, nice dude. When you were when you were fucking pulled up. Yeah, A and W cream soda. <laughs> Get that drop. Um, yeah, that's a good one. I like Diet Dr Pepper. Dr. Yeah. Oh, we've had this conversation. Have Dr. We? Pepper tastes like fucking shit. Yo, we've podcasted enough that you know we've gone down the Mount Rushmore of sodas. Yo, what numbers are sodas? <laughs> G9. Um, okay. Is it my turn? Uh Maria Tash in the low. Oh, right. Okay. I wore our legacy Cuban heels. I have on Ame Leondor socks. I'm wearing Yo. That's yeah. put you on blast. You need some new socks, dog. Oh, you yeah, these are, yeah. Got some, yeah. These are not great. These shits are holy. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking something holy. Yeah, um, yeah are, these are your socks are they them because them shits are holy. When I put them on, I was even though I got here a half an hour early, um, yes, I felt that. rushed out the door, and it wasn't until I slipped on the Cubans that I was like, wait, I'm feeling, I'm feeling leather. Yeah, this is bad. And I, I got cow on like, soul. Oh, yeah, I will say. Um, and you know who agrees with me because she put it in perfectly imperfect. Kathleen Sorbara, yeah, loves ALD socks, and I love ALD socks. Well, well, you clearly love them. You've been I, that's them what I'm the, saying. I the need, fucking ground. Yo, Ted, I need some more pairs. Um, okay, maybe next time you see Teddy, you can ask him. Yeah, um, vintage Levi's five hundred ones, uh, metal wood, Western belt, uh, very cozy MF pen, uh, knit polo, three S white rodeo hat, and I wore my uh, Supreme barber. Because I have a beautiful anecdote that I wanted to share with both you and the throw gang about your beautiful wife. Yeah. So 
Let me just ask you, first and foremost, do you know what Ghani is? Yeah, it's like, it's Danish. I mainly know it because Chris, the homie Chris Green's wife used to work there. Got it. And I think was in charge of like bringing it to the US. And she was at the wedding. Did you see her, Jess? Yeah, yeah. Um, we worked together at BPMW. Yeah. yeah. You guys overlap? No, because I, or, or it was one of the things where I was like, uh, nice to meet you. And it was like, well, I don't even know this guy, but we'll let it. We'll let it cook because he's off of a bean right now. I've I've really leaned yeah, into, I saw her. I really leaned into good to see you because the nice to meet you. And then it's like, oh, no, we've met six times before. It's just, it's yeah. just like embarrassing. Especially at, at point. a wedding like that, that really my, my boy Jules said it best. He's like, they felt like a high school reunion. Yeah. Of John's. But we'll producers. get into it. We'll yeah, get into sorry, it behind sorry, the sorry. paywall. Um, so Ghani. So you were familiar. I mean, I knew what, like, like Jenna has Ghani pieces, but right. I wasn't like I didn't really know what I was dealing with. It's affordable, relatively affordable, cool girl shit. Right. So okay. the, the spectrum. Mm hmm. The tiers starting from like most unaffordable cool girl top down like a cop top down Phoebe Philo right the Katie oh shit right K H A I T E and right. again this I is know those two this is from a fucking amateur uh, women's wear enthusiast <laughs> right um I only know from like you know exes and and buying shit for girls and shit uh, okay Phoebe Philo Katie Totem never heard of that which is where Jess is now okay she went from Ghani to Totem so she, <laughs> she'll be a Katie next then <laughs> Ghani okay then Reformation familiar with that. Leave your comments, ladies, lady, the one lady listening. Yeah. Uh, leave your comments. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Fellas, um, maybe take my word for it. I don't fucking know, bro. So, <laughs> but you know, that was what an endorsement. Yeah. Having, I guess. Yeah. You, I'm pretty sure that's like the the cool girl. Again, not like super niche, like fucking right, right, esoteric, no, no. blah, blah, blah. Just like in Soho. And I know this because Jen and I were out maybe two weekends ago. Go to the Odeon, get a French onion soup. You already fucking know, best in the game. And then we decide to go shopping because Ghani apparently Did has share the soup. Uh, no, not that you gotta. I will never. I've shared soup with her before, and it's like you need your own soup. Well, when we're at Odeon, you're like, hey, you want some of this soup? I I'm asked like, if you no. wanted a spoonful. No, I want some Oliver Twist type shit. No, Pizza, man. Would you like a spoonful? No, <laughs> yo, fellas. <laughs> Fellas, is sharing soup with their boys gay? <laughs> Can we get two straws for this French onion soup? Um, so we're in Soho and we go to the Ghani store because apparently they do a barber collab, which I wasn't familiar with, but you knew this already. They reached out to me. They've Yeah, they've done the barber collabs uh, before and they reached out to me um, and they're like, hey, do you want this women's barber Ghani? <laughs> nice, dude. And my ex-girlfriend is a Ghani fan. So I was like, uh, yeah, I'm a size small. Small, tiny, um, tiny little man. And it's like a, it's like a, Duster almost. It's mm, like down right. to the fucking ankles, hunter green, quarter collar. Um, it's fire. Well, shout out Ghani for running back the barber collab for I don't know how many times, but uh, we go to the store because Jenna was like, yo, um, I want to get like your opinion on this barber collab. And I was fucking flattered. So we go to the store and there's a ton of models that are releasing in various drops. And all these were the long duster joints, which for a short queen like my wife, Oh not, yeah, not in play. She but she, fucking been slack and dragging on the floor. Right, exactly, dude. Um, so she was showing me like the other shit that was coming out. Jenna what, going unk mode. <laughs> yeah, and one of which is a fucking like basically kind of like the same Supreme joint, but instead of cheetah, it's leopard, and there's a little bit of padding. But I'm like, yo, this is fucking fire. Big exaggerated collar, whatever. So she's like, okay, they don't have them. I guess I'll wait for them to drop. I had forgotten about it. But I guess last night, Sunday, we're recording on Monday, as always, they finally came out mm. and she's texting me and she's like, wait, should I get this one? But then there's also a patchwork one. And I was like, babe, why are you texting me when you could be copping this fucking heat? And I literally was like, she's having a John's enthusiast moment. And the rush and the thrill I felt for her via proxy. I was like, I don't know if we've ever shared this moment before, yeah. because normally it's like the whole thing we say is if your girl hates your fit, that's when you know it's good. And I'm not out here ever trying to dress a woman because God forbid you say the wrong thing and that woman is your wife. See ya. You're out the fucking paint. So I, I okay. chill. I lay in the cut. You don't like buying like clothes for jewelry. Oh, okay. And also, you know, bags, if it's a, bags, bags, jewelry for sure. I like to do it in person. I'm never going to be like, let me just roll the dice on what I think this bitch would want. Mm. Anyway, it was uh, she ended up getting the cheetah. So now I got a fucking matching situation with her. I like, got a big like cat you, household <laughs> like you and I have with fucking all these like. Oh, jobs. no. You have to be like, oh, baby, you were in the cheetah. Are you wearing the barber? Donnie? <laughs> yeah, you were in the big cat fucking barber um, you have to show up wearing it like with me. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think knowing that you her and I usually leave the house together. True. It will be much easier versus me showing up here wearing something that maybe you were really excited to wear. And then you're all butthurt at me for the rest of the day, which yeah. happens. Happens every day, B. Okay. <laughs>